Welcome to the IBM Software as a Service demonstration series. In this series, we will demonstrate a set of architectural patterns exploiting features in IBM middleware to build software as a service solutions. In this demo, we will take a look at mediation patterns for rapid enablement of multi-tenancy for existing web service implementations using WebSphere's Enterprise Service Bus Product, or WESB. Multi-tenant web-delivered solutions can be built by sharing a single instance of the application server, database, operating system, and physical server amongst multiple client organizations, as shown in Figure 1. However, sharing existing web services between multiple tenants could require code changes if the multiple tenants require different endpoint selection. One way of implementing this code change is represented in Figures 2 and 3. The single tenant check credit score web service with the WSDL interface shown in Figure 2 is modified to add a tenant ID parameter as shown in Figure 3. This type of code change could be time consuming and potentially expensive. We will offer an alternative way to implement this functionality through the use of a mediation pattern. In this demo, we'll describe a mediation pattern layer that routes service invocations from a tenant's user to service endpoints dedicated to that tenant. This pattern can be implemented in a number of different ways using IBM middleware. In this demo, we will demonstrate the implementation using WebSphere Enterprise Service Bus. To view alternative ways of implementing this capability using WebSphere Data Power or WebSphere Business Services Fabric, click on the links at the end of this demo. Our scenario involves a sample multi-tenant banking application called Javaro, which is two tenants, First Bank of North America, First Bank, and Second Canada Bank, Second Bank. Javaro Service Provider Administrator Sam Peters would like to offer a new credit check web service integrated with two external service providers, Expo and SNR. He would like to enable multi-tenancy without any code changes to his existing single-tenant services. Based upon requests from Betty Nord, the First Bank Administrator, and Karen Sims, the Second Bank Administrator, he'd like to specify a routing rule in the mediation pattern layer. After specifying this rule, Bob Nottingham, a First Bank customer, will have his request routed to the Expo service provider, and Carrie Serrano, a Second Bank customer, will have her request routed to the SNR service provider. We will now show how Sam Peters can use WESB to implement a mediation module to route the tenant request to the correct endpoint, configure an authorization policy to restrict access to the web services to the appropriate users belonging to different tenants, and configure WSRR to store each tenant's service metadata. But before we get into the details of how we implemented this, let's take a look at what the WESB mediation pattern layer looks like. We will show how Sam Peters creates a WESB mediation module to route requests from a tenant bank's customer to service endpoints dedicated to that bank. In the mediation module, he creates a mediation flow. In the mediation flow, he adds a mediation primitive which performs access control by invoking Tivoli Access Manager, TAM, APIs. In the same flow, he adds another mediation primitive, which fetches the tenant's service endpoint metadata for the credit check service from WebSphere Services Registry and Repository if the user is successfully authorized. Storing the endpoint information in WSRR allows SAM to make changes at runtime and add new tenants without impacting existing tenants. SAM implements the mediation module using the mediation flow editor in WID. In the first mediation primitive in the flow, he retrieves the user identity and checks the authorization policy for accessing the credit check service. If successfully authorized, the tenant ID is extracted from the user's security credentials. The tenant ID is stored in a service message object as a transient user property for the next mediation primitive. The next primitive in the flow is a WSRR endpoint lookup primitive which queries service endpoint details for the credit check service based on the tenant ID user property specified in the previous step. Based on the endpoint information returned from the mediation module, the service request is routed to the appropriate credit check service provider. Now we'll take a look inside Tivoli Access Manager to see the access control policies for the credit score service. These policies specify the access control list and a user group and the members of the user group for the credit score service. Here we can see the credit score users group and that Bob Nottingham and Carrie Serrano are part of that group. Here we can see the access control list for the credit score service includes the credit score users group. 
Sam now configures tenant-specific service metadata in WebSphere Service Registry and Repository. Sam navigates to Service Metadata, WSDL, then Services. Sam defines a custom property in WSRR called Tenant ID for returning the web service endpoint port information for a tenant. This allows the WSRR query from the WSRR endpoint lookup primitive in our mediation module to return the appropriate endpoint metadata for each tenant. Now let's watch the scenario in action. Bob Nottingham, a First Bank customer, logs into the bank's virtual portal. From the Credit Check Services portlet, he checks his credit score and finds that it is provided by Expo Credit Check Services. However, when Carrie Serrano, a second bank customer, uses the Credit Check portlet to check her credit score, the score is provided by SNR's Credit Check Services. In addition to what we showed in this demo, there are other advantages to using WESB. WESB offers advanced protocol transformations and routing capabilities. WESB is seamlessly integrated with Tivoli Access Manager and WebSphere Services Registry and Repository. A WESB implementation is best suited for hub-and-spoke or broker type of integration architectures and provides adapter support for connecting to disparate systems. In conclusion, we have shown how to rapidly enable multi-tenancy for existing web service implementations by using a mediation pattern layer. We demonstrated this capability using IBM's WebSphere Enterprise Service Bus middleware in combination with WebSphere Services Registry and Repository and Tivoli Access Manager. IBM has innovative resources and programs to help you manage change and become relevant in the software as a service market. Whether you're an ISV, system integrator, or reseller, we can provide education, support, and benefits to help you grow revenue and differentiate yourself. The first step will be to join the SaaS community. You will automatically be kept aware of new SaaS technical benefits and workshops and get the enablement help that you need to transform your application for delivery in the IBM Software as a Service model. Then, as a member of the IBM SaaS community, you can register at the Virtual Innovation Center, VIC, where you will get personalized access to product support and education to help build your software as a service knowledge and skills. As an advanced level member of Partner World, you have the opportunity to gain access to additional marketing and sales support by qualifying for the software as a service specialty. For more information, visit our main site at ibm.com slash partnerworld slash SAS.